This time, let us go to neuropsychiatric examination preparation. This presentation is a supplemental to the previous presentation on making a drawing a person of male and a female. In this presentation, I will be telling you what are the do's and don'ts in drawing a male and a female. Without much further ado, let us now proceed. Number one. We need to draw simple, formal, and humble in its form. Draw a happy face or a smiling face and show slightly the teeth. Your drawing must be related to yourself, like your father and mother. Your drawing must have complete body parts, like head, ears, eyebrow, eyes, nose, mouth, with hands, and with five fingers with fingernails and your drawing must be in detail to distinguish a male from female as to hair the male must have a short hair not calvo while the female with long hair you can place headband for female as to the eyes it must be darkened the male must not have beard or balbas, it should have been shaved to show neatness. As to the ears, the male has no earrings while the female may have the earrings. The feet must be in shoes. If using slippers, it must show the toes. As to clothes, I would suggest that your drawing must wear a shirt, polo shirt for male, or a formal blouse for female. Do not draw that shows the sensitive body parts of the person. If you admire the professionals or workers like the nurses, doctors, or lawyers, or draw their clothes as you see them formal. As to pants, a male must wear a pants or short pants, and for female, it should wear a skirt these are the tones that we need to take note while drawing a person. Do not darken the lines of the drawing. Once the line is drawn, do not anymore redraw it like the sketching. We are not there to have a good sketch of a person. We are there for an examination. Once the line is drawn, do not anymore redraw it. Do not draw a stickman or anime. It shows immaturity. If you erase, do not erase as to the point that you destroy the paper. You will have a limited time during the actual examination. Lastly, do not draw unnecessary objects like cup, cell phone, ring, or any other objects that is not anymore necessary to our drawings. All we need to do is to be realistic and be detailed in our drawing. So, these are the do's and don'ts that we need to take note while we are drawing our male and female during the neuropsychiatric examination.